All right, everybody, welcome to uh, the Coin Roll Kings channel here. Today we're going to look for some coins. Uh, recently took out of the coin roll, but, you know, moved them in that little bin over here. <clears throat> I like to separate stuff, it makes it easy. You know, a little bit faster, save a little time, maybe even find a dime. You know what I mean? So, let's, uh, let's start off here. It looks like a uh, 1991. That one's yeah, just lame, lame. Uh, we got a 1990. Mm -hmm. Looks like a pretty good coin. Not bad, you know. I got my light set up here. That, that look at the coins a little bit better, you know what I mean? Yeah, there you go. Sorry guys, this is my first thing, but I plan to go a long ways in this adventure love coining coining's good yeah i just kind of go through and kind of look for some common errors the close and wide am you know in those 90s pennies always looking for that 82 copper d that's always a nice one small data you know, some of these older coins have great strikes. They look pretty nice, but is it worth it getting turned in? I don't think so. I don't think so. Not unless you have some serious, easy to identify double dies, I think. You know, lately I've been trying to sell some pretty good coins on eBay there. It's almost seems like you just got to wait for the right buyer, you know. But. I've been collecting and sorting coins for shit since I was 10 years old and I'm 41. Yep. Got my old school booklet. I got some good ones. Might have found a really good Steely today that has a. Could be hopefully the 44, but I'm not sure. It's missing the last date. Uh, 1990s. They're nice looking coins and all, but they just. Uh, don't pay out any value. I mean, shit. Even a dollar, though, off of a off of a coin that's worth minted one cent. That's a pretty good come up, you know. But me, I'm out searching for the big dogs, the big hunt coins, man. The ones that are pulling it down, you know, pulling it down. Let's see here. Let's take a little bit. Oh, I have this right here. Good thing. Yeah. I remember I was looking at these earlier a little bit. That's a 1944S. Pretty good. Pretty good. See, what I do is I sort them just by, you know, which ones that I think would look good. You know, maybe some kind of visible error, maybe an invisible one that I can't even see, you know. On the 93 here, like this one. I'm going to go back, turn it over, look at the reverse, look for that uh, space in between the A and the M. This one looks like a close AM. That's the year that they changed over to the close AM. Back into the change jar. That's what I always say. Back into the change jar, live another day. But here's a 1944. I like to check out these old ones just because of... Uh, they could have some pretty good doubling on them. Those are always worth good. I like it just because it's old, you know. Older coins seem to bring some good value. That looks, looks like a pretty, pretty good one right there. It looks like it might have a double die obverse on that 51. It's always a good one. Obverse meaning the front of the coin. Like this 1970. 1970s small date looks like not bad pretty good condition yep liking it liking it the next video here i'll put a my coin microscope on and then i'll show you what i mean by looking at these pennies for doubling a lot of people get it mixed up with just you know strike errors but you want to look for the, the doubles Doubles are good. Yeah. Back into the change jar. But 
I got this new thing. That one's going back next to the change jar because it's a 1950. I'm not going to throw it away. It's, it's old. 1941. Philadelphia. No mint mark. It's pretty nice little coin. Yeah. Looks a little low. Going right next to the change jar there with that one too. Uh, it's 79D. You know, I don't really like these 79s. They're just, I don't know. I'm sure there's a value one out there, but you know, that's not something I really look for. Back into the chain shirt with that guy. <laughs> All right. Well, I think that's it for now. There's the coin. Get up the old microscope there. Give her a go. And uh, see you next time. Next time, maybe you'll think that you're king, but not today. <laughs>